Hi everyone, today we're having a look at a studio build we did for Knox uh, College. Um, this is a photographic studio that was kind of uh, kind of added to a, to a space. It used to be, I think, their dark room, and then it was converted into a, into a studio. Um, and you can see the time lapse happening here. This is what the studio um, kind of looks like in 3D. Um, so one of the things that you'll kind of see straight away is that we've got uh, a ceiling track system keeping all the cables and everything off the ground and this allows us to move these tracks kind of move up and down and backwards and forwards and side to side as well as being able to position all the lights on them so they can be pushed down or pushed up uh, depending on the look the student is going for. Because this is a photographic studio it is quite a flexible space comparatively to a video studio. Normally video studios tend to be a little bit more pre-lit things can be a bit more fixed, making it kind of easier for people to just walk in and start shooting. Whereas with the photo studio, we tend to give it a little bit more um, flexibility. Uh, we, we, sorry, with that being said, we have got light specifically for the background. So we actually put three strip LEDs for the background. You can see that here. And these LEDs um, are designed to basically light the background nice and evenly. So if we just turn on some of these backgrounds, you can see just how quick and easy it is to get that um, that look that you're after, that white background. And we can turn these lights up and down um, in order to get that balance correct. But the idea here is that the lights for the background can be switched on or off, um, and you can have different drop-down backgrounds. So the way that the background lights are kind of mounted is we've got auto poles, so one auto pole on both sides, and then we've got an aluminum tube that goes across the top um, which allows us to mount our central top light. As for the ceiling track, so that just mounts to the ceiling using six uh, bracket points and that mounts to these um, tracks here that go a long ways from front to back of the studio. And then the other tracks are on rollers so they can kind of roll around. It's quite a flexible, simple kind of studio setup for, you know, for photography specifically. Um, you can use it for video, but as I said before, video studios tend to be a little bit more um, fixed. One of the other things you'll notice is that the room that the studio is actually in has a big glass window and it's basically a concrete box. So the acoustics in the space isn't particularly great, um, but for the photo it's not really important. And the good thing about the window is the teacher can see what's happening in the studio at all times and the classroom is just on the other side of the glass. So if you've got a similar space and are looking to build a studio or just want to build your own photographic studio, don't hesitate to contact Dragon Image. We're always happy to help. Thanks.